So the Black August Cocoon is basically a collective of women who are working together to explore ideas around safety, ideas around protection, ideas around state violence. It was really inspiring to watch Ola bring together all these women who didn't know each other at the start of the program, but at the end of four weeks had really started to gel and started to build the foundation for what safe spaces can look like in the bed community. During the month of August, it's been a tradition for Black nationalist organizations, Black empowerment organizations to focus for that entire month on self-study, political education, learning about defense techniques, and it's something that started during the 70s. And the reason why I called it Black August Cocoon is because one of the things that I've learned about cocoons is that it's a complete disintegration of the insect taking place within the cocoon, and then it reforms into the butterfly. So the concept is that it's a transformative experience for all of us. Being in that space was really about connecting with other folks who are often not safe in public spaces, not safe even in private spaces, and really being able to build that cocoon, being able to build that space where people feel like they can do their own transformation and emerge and make something more beautiful outside of it. This project is a sister to another project that I have, the Free Black Women's Library. I feel like there's a connection between the two and also I feel like the encouragement and the commitment that LP has to collaborating with community organizations has definitely helped me to just put myself out there to connect with churches, to connect with the Department of Health, to connect with Brooklyn Movement Center, to work with the self-defense teacher that we've been working with who's from Brooklyn. We're actually starting to change and shift our own empowerment and also culture moving forward. The more that we understand how powerful we can be in safe spaces, the more we can enter the rest of the world and transform spaces into ones that are safe for us. We're forming these lifelong connections because even though the cocoon collective aspect is over, we're actually still meeting and training together. The women are still working together together. So I feel like it's given me a whole new idea about what art is and what art can be. It can be a team of people coming together to create something that is really beautiful and really radical and something that could really uh, shift the energy of the neighborhood. <laughs>